Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Target exclusive Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane 2-pack from the Book of Boba Fett. So I used Pop Finder to track this down at one of my local Targets. Uh, Pop Finder said that there were two, so I went and I was walking down the toy aisle and this guy was opening a box and I just kind of glanced down and there were two in the box. So I said, may I? This is what I'm here for. So I grabbed one. Two great characters. I'm happy to have this. And of course, this comes in the plastic-free galaxy packaging, kind of a deluxe size box, but you got Star Wars The Black Series up top. Here we have a render of the two figures. Looks pretty good. Then we have Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett and Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane. On this side of the box, you get a picture of what's inside. So you get Cad Bane, stands at six inches tall, comes with some flame effects and a couple of blasters. And then Cobb Vanth also stands at six inches tall. He just comes with his blaster pistol. Then you have plastic-free packaging at the bottom there. Then on this side, you have the artwork. Two very nice pictures. I think those look great. Got a little moisture evaporator in the background. Love that. There's nothing on the top. Bottom is the barcode, small print, and logos. And there's the back of the box. You got the same render that's on the front, just more of it. Then you have a short bio in five different languages. And then you have all this small print down there. And the bio just says, The Marshal of Mos Pelgo on Tatooine, Cobb Vanth is a trustworthy leader. Bounty hunter Cad Bane visits him on behalf of the Pike Syndicate, leading to a fateful confrontation. All right, I'm going to get these two fellas out of this box, and let's take a look at them. And I thought I would show you guys this real quick. So right out of the box in this cardboard tray, you have the figures and their tissue paper, which is expected. But up here in this totally separate area, you have all the accessories. They're protected. I love that. So in this little bag, they put Cad's hat with Cobb's blaster. Okay. It's partitioned, which is nice so they don't slide around. And then in this other bag, you have all the flame effects and Cad's blasters. That's nice. Okay, so I got Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane out of the box, and I have not been able to put these two down. I mean, these are great. This is a great set. I think I like this version of Cobb Vanth better, and this Cad Bane is just amazing. This is a great figure right here, but I think I'll take a look at Cobb Vanth first. Yeah, so this version of Cobb looks wonderful. I mean, the face is great. I think they did a good job on the eyes, nose, mouth. The beard looks pretty good. I think the hair is very nice. It's a nice hairdo. I mean, the sculpt, the sculpt of the hair is it's just good. I like it. Even the ears look good. Yeah, from the neck up, I like it a lot. And I think the scarf looks pretty good, or ascot, whatever you want to call it. I think the wrinkles in here are well done. It's kind of rough on the edges. Yeah, very good. And I love how it's sculpted back here to make it look like it's tied. That's great. Love that. And the shirt is just, it's just neat. So on the armored version, all we saw was the upper arm, okay? We had gauntlets down here and armor here. This is nicely done. This little pattern is all over. Love it. The wrinkles down here are just great. The back looks really good. It's just a, just a cool texture. Yeah, nice shirt. All this, the gloves look fantastic. You've got some great detail on these fingerless gloves. All this in here is just tremendous. Very nice gloves. The belt, so I'm thinking this, well, this belt is the same, and I'm thinking this belt is the same as the other cob. It just has more paint. All of this looks a little familiar. They painted the belt loops this time, and this little bit back there is on the other cob also. Uh, but they just added the belt loops, and I like that. This holster, this low-slung holster, I mean, they painted the little Marshall symbol. Um, still has the hook there, that's painted. I really wish they would have hit some of this back here. That would have been a nice touch, but they didn't, uh, but it's okay. It's still a you know, pretty cool holster. The pants, you know, same legs as before, but uh, this is what should have happened on the other Cobb, the so-called deluxe Cobb Vanth. If you notice on this one, these are painted. On the other one, they're just brown. It's, it's nice that they, that they did this on this one. Yeah, that looks good, actually. But yeah, same legs, same little bit there. This could have used something, but it's okay. But you've got some great detail in these pants, these britches. That little pouch looks good. Got some pockets back here that look pretty good. The wrinkles look good. All this in here, just great detail on these pants. And I think the boots look great. And they weathered them this time. On the so-called deluxe cob, they were not weathered. They actually put some dirt on these, on you know, the soles, sand or something from Tatooine. Yeah, the boots look great. Yeah, from head to toe, this is a nice looking cop Vanth. 
And for quick side-by-side -side comparisons, I'm liking this face better. I think this looks much better than my other one. Now, I've, I've seen some on this version that do look good. Mine, I don't know, something in the eyes. Mine looks a little off, but I do love this one right here. But the upper arms, you know, same pattern. The lower arm, of course, has the gauntlet. And on this one, if you peel this up, it's just smooth. Okay, so I'm glad that they redid the shirt. This is all new sculpt here, this whole little bit there, which is nice. The holster is the same. This belt, like I was saying, I'm pretty sure it's the same belt. It's just they didn't paint all this. Of course they didn't. This so-called deluxe version with no paint. Of course they didn't paint it. But all this looks about the same as that, right? Just minus the paint. And of course the canisters are painted on the new one. And the back of the belt, like I mentioned, this little bit back there is on both. So I'm pretty sure this is, you know, same belt. Same holster, same legs, just a different color. And the boots are very plain on the deluxe version. This one, they actually weathered them. All right, so let's take a look at articulation on Cobb Vance. So you've got some excellent side to side at the head. You've got some pretty good down, some decent up, but you have some crazy tilt. Love that. The arms get all the way up to there. And let me show you guys something real quick. On the box, doesn't that look like a butterfly joint, right? This right here ain't there. This little extra little bit there. That's deceiving. Yeah, good job, Hasbro. That looks like a butterfly joint, but as you see, he does not have butterfly joints. There's nothing there. Very misleading. All right, so back to this. Yeah, the arms get up that far. They can rotate all the way around. Elbows, hmm. Just like the other Cobb, the elbows are very disappointing. I mean, on this one, it gets a mm, just a smidge past 90. They could have done better in the elbow department, but they do swivel. And he's got an up and down hinge on the right hand, which is great. And on the left hand, you have a side to side hinge. As far as midsection, you got some very good swivel. You've got some pretty good crunch, but it does gap a little bit in the back. And for flex back, it's pretty good. But again, it gaps right there. For legs, they go out very far. They don't go back very much before it hits his Marshall of Mos Pelgo, but he has an upper thigh swivel, single knee that gets up to 90. He's got a knee swivel, no boot swivel. Um, feet go down that far. They go up mm, just a little bit, and you do have some swivel at the ankle. So the articulation on Cobb isn't terrible. I do wish the elbows were better though. And as far as accessories for Cobb, we have this big old blaster pistol. So this is an HF-94, very similar to a, like an Old West style revolver or a, a modern day 44 mag or something like that. Just a big old pistol. But it's got some great detail throughout. It's a nice color. You have some brown on the grip there. And the flip side looks like that. Pretty much the same. But yeah, very, very cool pistol. And let's see how Cobb holds this pistol. That's nice. Yeah, that goes in really well. And if you want him firing low from the hip, kind of gunslinger style, this wrist hinge is excellent. The elbows are so-so, but the wrist hinge is very, very good. Yeah, that looks good, kind of quick draw style. Yeah, I like that. And there he is with the arm fully extended, and that looks pretty good, especially from the front. Can kind of tilt his head a little bit, you know, give him a little bit of attitude. Yeah, that looks really nice. This is a sweet looking blaster. Okay, so we know that he holds it very well, and he poses pretty well with it. Let's see how the holster works. That just drops in. Okay. There's no strap. It just kind of sits in there, but it is extremely snug. It is not going to fall out, and that looks very good holstered. And the way his arm landed, that's actually a pretty good look right there. But I will most likely keep the blaster in his hand at all times, just because he looks so good with it. All right, so we know Cobb Vanth looks good. Let's move on to Cad Bane, and I... <laughs> I absolutely love this version of Cad Bane. From head to toe, it just looks awesome. But let's take a close look. We'll start with the hat, and it's a good-looking hat. And I found a shot in the show as far as where these things should be, these little silver things on the side. I found a behind shot, so there's less space here in the back, okay, between these two things. So this is how the hat should be oriented, okay? And there's more space here in the front, Okay, so this is correct, but I do love the look of this hat. It's pretty secure once it's on his head, and of course it does come off, 
yeah, it's a great looking hat and his, his head and face. Uh, I love this. The eyes, they're kind of shiny. Yeah, they look really good. The snarl, his funky teeth, his so-called nose, all the wrinkles in his brow, the chin. I think the skin tone's pretty good. I don't have a problem with this uh, skin tone at all. It's fine. The metal plate looks good. The breathing hoses, I love all the detail in here. The hoses are corrugated. I think they did a nice job on that. They just come around to this little thing and you have tons of fine detail in here. Yeah, this is fantastic. A little tank, a little antenna. Yeah, from the neck up, this is a wicked looking Cad Bane. Here, let me put his lid back on because how can he be a bounty hunter without his hat? And from the neck down, this outfit is so good. The little silver up here on the top of the coat, up here on the shoulders, nicely done. Looks good, very clean. All the bits on his shirt, very clean. Once again, the reds, the silvers, all look really, really nice. I love this down there. The ammo belt, very cool. The buckles look good. Yeah, the paint on him is just so clean. I mean, I haven't found a single whoopsie anywhere. I mean, just well done. So the belt here is a separate piece, but it is locked or glued or pegged down here with his thigh. Okay, so it's not going anywhere, but it appears to be a separate piece. Okay, it does move a little bit. Uh, coming back up to arms. Nice wrinkles on these sleeves. The gauntlets, I love the blue. But you, you've got some great paint detail in here. The white, the red, the yellow, the hose. This gold hose is really good. Love that. The inside of the gauntlet, nicely detailed. This side, kind of the same thing. Yeah, they look good. And this hose is kind of a silver, where this one's gold over here. Yeah, I like that. And the gloves, these fingerless gloves look really good. With his long fingers. Good looking figure so far. And of course, trigger fingers on both, which is great. Yeah, this belt, I am loving this belt and holster combo. Looks really good. Back of the coat looks like that. Good detail in there, nice wrinkles. And the pants are just brown pants, but again, great wrinkles. The knees look pretty cool, and these little ammo, little belts on the top of his boots, love these. Love those. A nice, nice detail, clean paint. I mean, from head to toe, it's a great looking Cad Bane. And let's take a look at articulation on Cad Bane. So you have some very good tilt. You have a little bit, well, actually pretty good down, and some pretty good up. Yeah, he is very, very mobile up top. And as far as arms, they go all the way up to there. Wow, nope, they're still going. They're still going. Crane technique. Wow. Yeah, mother's arms get way up there. That's impressive. And what's also impressive is these butterfly joints. They are just absolutely wacky. You can see how deep they're cut there. Yeah, <laughs> crazy movement in his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, now, now elbows. I was kind of hoping for a little more in the elbows. They, mm, just to 90. Just 90, but it's okay. Uh, you know, that's what we got. Uh, swivel at the elbow. The gauntlets do not swivel, but you do have a nice swivel at the wrist and very good up and down hinges on both hands, which is necessary for dual wielders. I love that. Yeah, same, yeah, no gauntlet swivel, but you do have some very good swivel at the elbow. As far as midsection, the coat kind of gets in the way a little bit of getting to you know certain parts of him, but he's got some excellent swivel some pretty good crunch, some pretty good back, but he does gap right there. Um, and he's got some pretty good tilt. The legs, these holsters and belt, it's all very flexy. Yeah, there, you can see how that belt is a separate piece. It just moves all over the place and it's pegged or glued down here. But the legs get way out. They don't go back very far. They go up all the way to, <laughs> okay. Cad Bane's got some crazy articulation. Legs go way up. So there's no thigh swivel, but you do have a touch of rotation at the thigh. But he does have single knees that get up that far. A swivel at the knee. He also has boot swivel down here with these little ammo thing, this little bandolier down here on top of his boot. It'll swivel right there. Then you have feet all the way down. They go up a decent amount, and then you have some swivel at the ankle. So the articulation on Cad Bane is pretty good. I mean, you know, just like Cobb, I kind of wish the elbows were a little bit better, but overall, I think it's fine. And as far as accessories, let's start with the flamethrower effect. It's a great sculpt, and it's a beautiful color. I mean, the red, the orange, and yellow, super vibrant. I just don't think I'll use it just because it does take up a lot of real estate on the shelf, 
but it's nice that they stuck it in the box. And as far as how it hooks into the gauntlets, it's like a little L hook, almost a little peg. And it just slips into these little slots on the gauntlets. A little slot right there. It just slips in there. And it works on both. And let's see. Kind of have him facing the direction of, of whatever is about to get him. And he's, yeah, throwing some flame their way. That looks pretty good, actually. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool effect. I just don't think I'll use it. But it does work. And... It's pretty stable once it's in there. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's try the left side. Let's see how it works on the left gauntlet. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Let's turn his head in the direction of the threat. And that's the left. That looks good. That actually looks really good. So next, let's take a look at the blasters that this Cad Bane comes with. And I absolutely love this weapon. I can't find the name of this one. Okay. The other Cad Banes that we've gotten in the Black Series, it's an LL30 blaster. This is not an LL30. I don't know what this is, but I do like it. And it's nice they put some brown on the grip, but you've got some great detail throughout. Nice little scope, and you do get a pair of these. They are both identical. That's what the other side looks like. Uh, pretty much the same, but yeah, two very, very cool looking pistols. And let's see how Cat holds these. Okay, right hand, very good. Okay, the trigger finger is right on the trigger. Okay, there's no trigger guard. And that looks good in the right. Let's try the left. Let's see how this goes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, literally perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just, just putting him in his hands. Like, not even really trying. That looks nice. <laughs> that looks really, really good. Okay, let's have his arms extended a little bit. Like, he's got, he's got threats coming at him from both sides. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Cool looking pistols. And with these wrist hinges, yeah, you can get the... It's a shame the elbows only stop right there. That's too bad. I was going to get one up next to his head. Uh, but firing from the hip, okay, the wrist hinges are very good. It's just the elbows aren't that great. Uh, but firing from the hip, both of them, that looks pretty good. And real quick, before I look at the little blast effects for these blasters, let's look at the holsters. Okay, that drops in very well. Yeah, that drops like all the way down there. Okay. That looks nice. That works. And oh, okay. Kind of hard to get out. Let's look at the right side since it's the same pistol. So the right holster is a little hard to get to because of the coat, but that'll drop in just like on the left. It drops all the way in and yeah, that looks good holstered. Okay. But I doubt I will keep those in their holsters. I plan on keeping these in his hands just because they look so good in his hands. Let's park him there for a second. Okay, and we also get these little things. These two little blast effects for the blasters. One is a little bit longer than the other one. And, I mean, for what they are, they look pretty good. They're very vibrant. Very nice, you know, red, orange, and yellow. And they just plug into the end of the blaster. Very snug. Super snug. Let's try the right side. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I don't normally do stuff like this with blast effects, but I don't know. This looks nice. Yeah, there's a slightly different pose of him uh, with both pistols out looking to the right. Uh, yeah, these, these things are cool. I love this. Yeah, the blast effects are pretty sweet. I like these. I like them. But I just have these two in just kind of generic stances right now. I love this set. I'm going to go stick these two on the shelf and let's see what they look like there. It's a shame it's a little dark over here, but man, they look good. The cob looks good. Cad looks good. And you can see how they scale with Finnick and Boba. I think they're great. I am super happy with this set. I haven't decided if I'm going to put those little blast effects on Cad's pistols. I may. I kind of like the look of them. And I think this version of Cobb Vanth is just cool. I like it. I'm very happy to have these. So bottom line, it is a great set. I mean, you have two excellent figures here. And again, I think I like this version of Cobb Vanth over the armored version. I mean, not that this is terrible, but there's something about this one. I love this. And I think the face is better on this one, on, on mine. Super happy with that one. Now, Cat Bane, 
It's Cad Bane. You can't go wrong with him. This face is so well done. I love the snarl. Now, I do have the other one on order as well, the mainline release with just the more plain face, you know, the slight little smirk. I have that one as well, but when I saw this and all these, I had to get this. I could not pass this up. It's a great Cad Bane. Front, back, sides, top, bottom. Excellent looking figure. Very happy to have both. But I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of this Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane two-pack from the Book of Boba Fett. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.